prayer Lord, please save her for me Do this one favor for me I had to change my play of ways Got way too complicated for me I hope she's waiting for me Everywhere she go, they play my songs That's why I say the things that I say That way I know you can't ignore me But so, so, yeah So give me all of you in exchange for me Hey y'all, so I'm back Um, I've already done my brows, primed my face And also moisturized my face So we're gonna just go ahead and get into this eyeshadow look you guys, I know I have been gone. Um, that's because of the holidays, my job. Um, I was working six days a week, so your girl was like super duper tired. So um, I decided to do something that I haven't done on my other videos, which um, also um, do this lace front. First time wearing a lace front, guys. So please don't judge me or come down on me. First time installing one and first time wearing one. So be easy on me if you have any tips please leave them in the comment um section but i will be using my morphe 35b palette um for this look and so i did show you guys um i'm using um a soft orange that was in that palette as my transition color right now And FYI, I did have to get used to this wig. I did a lot of cutting, trimming, etc. for it to fit my face and for me to get it how I liked it. Um, so now I'm going in with a darker orange color from that Morphe palette as well. And you know I'm just blending, blending, blending using my um, Sigma E38 brush. And I also went back over with the lighter orange that I used um, just to blend those two colors together. You will be, you will be seeing me doing that through the, throughout the video. And now I'm going in with that red color just to blend it in as well. We're just blending, blending, blending that red color in to the crease of our eye. Um, and then again, I went back with the darker orange just to blend that um, orange and red together to get kind of of a sunset look. Then I'm going to go in with this burgundy color from that palette as well. And put it on my outer eye and I'm kind of putting it directly in the crease of my eye of course um, I do have hooded eyes so I do bring that um, burgundy color up just a little because when I cut my crease I have to go over the hood part of my eye so I still want that color to be seen so I go a little bit over the crease of my eye Just adding more product just to get the um, color that I was looking for as far as it being dark. Then I go back in with that red just to blend out the burgundy and the red color together so we can see no harsh lines. And now I just took a flat brush um, just to go ahead and cut my crease. And we're just going to do, um, we're not going to go all the way across, we're just going to do halfway. And I did take a lighter concealer, almost white, 
um, on my skin tone to cut the crease since I'm going to be using vibrant colors. I really want those colors to pop so I just used a lighter concealer or you can use what some people call white base. It's just really your preference on what you have. And now we're going in um, with a denser brush um, just to add that burgundy on the end of our eye. And we're just going to blend it into that concealer as well. And now I'm taking the yellow from that um, Morphe palette and um, putting it in the inner corner of my eye. Then we're going to use the same dark orange that we used in the beginning and we're going to put that in right next to the yellow. And I'm going to be going back and forth from the yellow to the orange just to get that blended, blended look. Not, um, I didn't want to see any harsh lines from the yellow to the orange or from the orange to the burgundy. So now I'm adding my NYX primer which acts as a um, glitter glue and I'm just adding, um, I don't know what color because it was kind of like an orange glitter but it had like yellow sparkles in it. Um, I got it from Amazon, so now I'm just adding that in the inner corner of my eye. And you may have to go back and fix your liner like I did, no biggie. Um, it's not a big deal because it doesn't mess it up that much. I just like for it to look really neat. Now I'm going in with my So, Wisp so Wispy um, Kiss Eyelashes. First time wearing this, um, not Kiss Eyelashes, but the So Wispy kind. And everybody know that I do, that I hit my face with my translucent powder first before I go in with my foundation. Um, that's what I personally like to do. Um, it helps keep my face matte all day and foundation lasting all day. And I'm going to use two foundations today. I'm going to use my Fit Me, found, not my Fit Me, I'm sorry, my Fenty Beauty Foundation and also my Studio Fix Foundation from MAC. We're just blending that in with our Sigma brush. And then I go on top of Fenty Beauty with the Studio Fix. And whenever I use MAC foundation because it is so thick, I always like to use my Artiste Oval 7 brush to blend it in. And now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and the color Cool Tint just to highlight my face. I'm going to take another Sigma brush, I don't remember the name, I mean the number of it, but to blend out that concealer.
and I'm going in with my contour palette from Anastasia um, I use the cream and the powder and the color that I use for the cream is the light to medium I do not use I do I did not use the darkest brown in there but I think it was the second to darkest brown and I'm setting that concealer with my black opal finishing powder in the color medium and you just put that powder everywhere you put the concealer and then I like to put it right under my contour just to define the just to define that contour a little bit more I always get tongue twisted guys I don't know why and now I'm using the contour palette and powder from Anastasia just to set that cream contour I'm just going to dust off all of the excess powder. Then I hit my face with my finishing powder from Black Radiance. Now I'm just adding a little blush. And then I'll take um, the burgundy color from the Morphe palette that I use for my eyes just to hit my waterline. And then I take my Sun Dip Glow Kit from Anastasia just to add a little glow to the cheek, um, my upper lip, and my nose. I'm really starting to love and feel glow a lot more, so I don't want to go outrageous with it. But hey, it is what it is. Your girl is starting to like that glow a lot more. And of course, I hit my lips with my favorite lip liner from NYX, and it's called Urban Calf. You've seen this in most of my YouTube videos because it's one of my favorite lip liners and always my go-to. And then I use my Nicki Minaj, Nicki, it's called Nicki Nude from MAC Lipstick. Then I hit my face with my NYX setting spray. And now we finna um, take off those pins so you can see this beautiful lace front. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.